Welcome back, y'all. So last night, your boy sat down and watched the last quarter and a half of that Thunder Clipper game. It definitely didn't disappoint. Came down to the very last possession of the game with the OKC Thunder rolling out a much-needed win, 101-100, to as we get closer to the play-in tournament. I can't believe this game was that close. I mean, I'll get to why it was so close or why I think it was so close in just a minute. But something to note is that the Clippers literally started this game off 19-4. to Like, they were winning this game 19-4. to Thunder came storming back. But anyways, we get to the last possession of the game. The Clippers are down 101-100. to Right? You know, like, oh my god, the ball's going in Kawhi's hands. Like, the Kawhi is going to take care of business. All done. Game time, right? No, I swear to god, Kawhi Leonard forgot what planet he was on last night. Because you're down a point, and you need to put up a shot for the win. You think you're going to get a shot off in time? No. Like, he didn't even, like, put a shot up until, like, the, the buzzer sounded. Like, it was weird. Like, he literally did not know how much time was on the clock. He literally forgot where he was. Like... I've never seen such a strange thing from an NBA superstar in my entire life. But anyways, the Thunder catch a much-needed dub. Moving into the statistics side of things, Shai Gilgis Alexander did Shai Gilgis Alexander things, finishing with 31 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. Big J-Dub Jalen Williams had 20 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists as well for the Thunder. On the Clipper side of things, on the Clipper side of things, Kawhi had 21 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Now here's the big story in the game, as most of you already probably know. Paul George suffered a pretty painful leg injury, uh, as we saw in replay last night. I was not enjoying myself when I saw that. And anyone that was like a teenager in the 2010s or remembers the 2010s very well, you see Paul George with a leg injury, you get some insane PTSD. For the three of you that probably don't know, or the few of you born in like 2009 that probably don't know, Paul George playing for Team USA suffered a gruesome leg injury back in the 2010s. I forget what year, but back in the 2010s when he was literally prime PG on the Indiana Pacers, like going crazy. I knew he was out for the rest of the season, obviously. I think he was out for either most or all of the next season. Like he was out for a while. Like we did not think Paul George was coming back to the game of basketball. But anyways, last night, Paul George came down. I believe it was after he was shooting. I think he was shooting. He went to shoot. He went to shoot. He came down and his knee kind of turned in a way you don't want it to turn. It was pretty bad looking. So I just read a report. Paul George is going to get his knee reevaluated and in two to three weeks. So we know he going to miss at least two to three weeks of action, which means he could miss some playoff time. Maybe, maybe miss some playoff time or they might just shut him down. That's my guess that he's just going to get shut down once they reevaluate his knee, because I don't think they want to rush Paul George, who has had multiple leg injuries back. You know what I'm saying? Depending on where the Clippers are, when he's ready to return, that'll determine if he's coming back or not. But my guess is he's done for the season. They're, they're going to shut him down because two to three weeks that's basically playoff time you're like in the playoffs already so he might come back first round the only way you get him to come back for sure is if you make it to round two which i honestly don't see the los angeles clippers doing i mean it could happen they've won what five out of their six last games or whatever something like that let me know what y'all think about this paul george news do you think he's coming back or do you think he's done for the year only time will tell but hey man if y'all have been enjoying these videos make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you are new also them chicago bulls man they're dangerous why are they dangerous i made a video about it go check it out but thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all soon.